Honda just launched the world's first uh, level three self-driving car, a car that can basically, you still have to be at the steering wheel and be ready to take over in certain situations, but the car can drive itself most of the time. They chose a Honda Legend. I didn't even realize that they were still making Honda Legends. Uh, you know, the, the Lexus, I suppose, of the Honda range. Uh, it's a $100,000 plus car. Um, they're going to only have uh, a certain a limited run of the self level uh, of the level three self driving cars available. Most of them will be available for lease and as demonstrators, but they'll be driving around on Japanese roads. Um, I still think if they're going to do a level three, I mean level four is where you don't need the steering wheel, and that's what I really want. I still think the Toyota Elfad, the sort of luxury big van cruisers, that's the ideal thing where you can just basically lie down and go to sleep or watch movies or you know do whatever, do whatever you want you know have it like a working office that that's the real i don't know that i'd actually want to have full self-driving in a car like a legend you know which is still very much you're sitting in a driving position but yeah yeah uh, wonderful to see that uh, japan's been kind of quiet on the self-driving front but you know they're working really hard at it and it's really cool that honda got first to market to release this they're doing exciting things with batteries and uh, Japan has the most battery patents of any country. So although Japan, like, like with the vaccines, like with everything else, Japan's quiet and keeping a low profile at the moment. Definitely Tesla is doing wonderful things. And a lot of big companies are out there sort of, you know, taking the lead. But yeah, look out. Japan is coming and they are doing really awesome things. And I think mobility is just going to be like a huge, huge area in the next couple of years.